Welcome to A Course in Miracles with the whole Pono Pono Lens. We're on lesson 288. Let me forget my brother's past today. This is the thought that leads the way to you and brings me to my goal. I cannot come to you without my brother. I believe it was in the Bible that said, um, don't say that you love God if you hate your brother. Something to that effect. Um, but this is one that I really need help with sometimes going back to the text and to know my source with a capital S, I first must recognize what you created one with me. My brother's is the hand that leads me on the way to you. His sins are in the past along with mine and I am saved because the past is gone. Let me not cherish it within my heart, or I will lose the way to walk to you. My brother is my savior. Let me not attack the savior you have given me, but let me honor him who bears your name and so remember that it is my own. Forgive me then today, and you will know you have forgiven me if you behold your brother in the light of holiness. He cannot be less holy than I can, or uh, he cannot be less holy than can I, and you cannot be holier than he. I'm going to read that one starting from the beginning. Forgive me then today, and you will know you have forgiven me if you behold your brother in the light of holiness. He cannot be less holy than can I, and you cannot be holier than he. Okay, so how does Ho'oponopono apply to this? There have been times when I've been in someone's presence by doing Ho'oponopono, this no longer happens. But there has been times when I've been in someone's presence and all I could do was think of the, quote, trespasses, unquote, that he did against me, the sins that he did against me. And it just would replay in my mind over and over again. And I'm so grateful for Ho'oponopono because I can be in this person's presence and nothing comes up. It's uh, neutral. I don't have that replaying memory in my mind. Ho'oponopono clears away old programming, old erroneous memories, thoughts, words, and deeds. And we do Ho'oponopono by saying to divinity either the four clearing phrases or the one clearing phrase. We can say, I'm sorry, please forgive me, I love you, thank you. I'm sorry, please forgive me, I love you, thank you. I'm sorry, please forgive me, I love you, thank you. Or... Thank you, thank you, thank you, or I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, or a combination of thank you and I love you. Uh, Dr. Joe Vitale came up with a fifth clearing phrase, I forgives myself, I being the bigger part of me, the higher self, and the uh, myself being the lower part of me. I came up with infinite love, infinite love, infinite love. And uh, as you do your walk, you may come up with your own Ho'oponopono clearing phrase. Okay, so let me forget my brother's past today. And Ho'oponopono is perfect for that because it wipes the slate clean. Forgiveness work, I'm also hearing forgiveness works does the same thing too. Um... I like to say a prayer from Take Me to Truth Academy. I don't have it right now. I have it on my computer, uh, but I don't have it accessible right now, so I'll add it below. It's a quick prayer. I think it's about three sentences, and I just love saying it. Sometimes I do a, a whole worksheet. I told you that um, a few weeks ago, but the prayer works just as well. Um, Yes, and also just doing these lessons, 
you know, uh, re reprogramming your mind, retraining your mind, because we usually learn to do vengeance and retaliation as opposed to forgiveness. Um, but you know, the body pays a price for that. If you are remembering people's sins, people's oughts, people's, um, what do you call those shortcomings? Um, and not in the now. Carolyn Mace, I used to read her books and attend her lectures online, and she has a great YouTube channel. Um, she came up with why people don't heal and how they can. And say we're given a hundred dollars worth of energetic currency each day, but if you are spending your money on the past, so you're spending $95 a day in the past, going over past hurts and grievances, carrying grudges, so on and so forth. But say you need to heal your body of a cold, That say that cold costs $10 in energetic currency, you're not going to have enough, you're going to be at a deficit. And so that's how illnesses come into the body. So there is a price to pay, and so if you can get these lessons of A Course in Miracles now, especially if you're in a younger generation, you will be golden. Okay, so that is it for today's lesson, and I hope you're having a wonderful day or evening wherever you're at in the world. Look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Bye!